Hi, this is Rod from the Alchemist Den, our esoteric and hermetic study society and the of our planetary magic uh, discussion. In this part, we will see Tritemia's <coughs> detailed ritual on how to draw the planetary spirits into crystals. If we didn't see part one with the theory and introduction first, I strongly suggest to see that part first because it has very important information before proceeding into the ritual. And um, then, yeah, then we go. This ritual was written, the original ritual was written by a Benedictine abbot. I mean, Tritemius was a Benedictine abbot living in the 15th century. So what we will see here um, is invocations and wording that are very specific to that period. Um, he will invoke to the Trinity, uh, he would invoke to Jesus Christ and God, and, and which is both because he was... Um, uh, Benedictine monk and also because during that period I think if we didn't want to get burned at stake it was better to have this kind of, of uh, wording. Nevertheless um, of course these words may not resonate with everybody so feel free eventually to change these parts with what entity or what is your is according to your belief. I mean this this ritual is actually can be performed by anybody in, independent by, by uh, your faith or what you believe in, most important is that you may change the uh, words accordingly. Now this, this choice of picture is interesting because uh, we see the, the traditional magician um, evoking the spirit there, but what I feel or what we feel when, when we do this kind of magic is more the top figure um, is really like inviting an entity into your space. So I think um, we should keep that. This is exactly the page of Tritemius, how it is published in, in the book. And just to recap, before we go into the details of the ritual and what you need to prepare beforehand, and I strongly suggest you to write and eventually rewrite your objective for the evocation clearly and without ambiguity. Um, this is very important to have a very clear and um, straightforward statement of what we are doing the vocation for, what we'll need to ask for. And then decide which planet, which intelligence and which spirit you will want to work with. Second, of course, is the scheduling. As we have seen before, you will have to choose the day and the time according to the planet that you wish to contact. And third are the tools preparation. What you'll need is a scrying tool, which could be a crystal, um, but if you don't have crystal, it's fine with a, just a bowl of water, a black mirror. So it's not necessary to have um, something like a crystal. Again, just a bowl of water is, is enough. An incense burner with the incense of the corresponding scent, a candle with the corresponding color, the planetary square and sigils that we have seen in the previous presentation how to make, and then we will have two more things to, to make, and next I will explain, which is the table of practice and the lamen of the archangel. The last three items are uh, optional. so. You don't have to worry if you don't have, but if you have, it's good for to have the wand, the ritual knife, and offering. Again, offering is also optional. If you want to, if you will to, you can do an offering. If you don't want to, it's it's fine. I mean, the three these three last um, items are completely optional. So we say we have two more things. One is the table of practice and the Lamen of the Archangel. Starting from the table of practice, unfortunately, Tritemius and, and Barrett didn't give us an um, image of, of how this table of practice should, should look like. They just, give, uh, they just gave us a description, and the description goes like, on the table, 
on which the crystal, meaning the scrying tool, stands, uh, the following names, characters, uh, etc. must be drawn in order. First, the names of the seven planets and angels ruling them with their seals or characters. The name of the four kings of the four corners of the earth, let them be all written within a double circle with a triangle on a table on which place the crystal or the scrying tool on his pedestal. This being done, thy table is complete. Now what you see, the two images that I put here is uh, that, um, prepared by modern magician and there are two different interpretations of these, these words. Beside the outside, um, the two circle outside where you have the name of the angel in Hebrew and, uh, and the glyphs of the planets, which are pretty much the same, what changes is the interpretation of the four kings. Like in one case, the interpretation of the four kings we can use or uh, is uh, thought to use the four archangel that we use in ceremonial magic for the banishing ritual of, of the pentagram, uh, Raphael, Mikhail, Uriel and, and Gabriel. Another interpretation for the four kings are the four demon kings. Um, again, who's into ceremonial magic is familiar with the name as well, which is Oriens, Amaimon, Paimon, Agen. Um, so you can choose either one. Again, this is from modern magician, different interpretation, but they work very well in, in the same way. Next is the Lamen of the Archangel. For the Lamen of the Archangel, we have the uh, drawing in, in the book. It's much easier what it looks like. Uh, you can see a modern representation. What we have here, uh, you have the um, archangel written in Hebrew on, on the traditional way, on the modern way you have it written in, in Roman letters, but it's exactly the same. What is important to have there is the, is the sigil of the archangel that you see it written in the middle of the, uh, of the hexagram. And that is uh, the key point on, on drawing this lamen that you have to draw by yourself. And here I put the sigil of all the seven rulers of the planet. So an example that we have here is Mikhail that I highlighted with the red circle. And you will have to copy according to the planet and according to the uh, angel planetary uh, energy that you want to work with, you will have to choose your own uh, Archangel Sigil and put it in the middle of your uh, six uh, rayed star. This lamen can be on paper, um, doesn't need to be anything fancy, just a piece of paper is fine and it needs to be made uh, like a pendant, so just put a string around it and it should be ready to be placed around your, your neck. actual ritual on how to perform it and we start with the table the first thing that you need is to have a table in front of you and a chair where you can comfortably sit and be sitting in front of of the table on the top of the table we will put our table of practice that we have seen right since a few minutes ago and your scrying tool as we said the crystal or the bowl of water or a black mirror, whatever it is, you just place it in the middle of the triangle of the table of practice. Next, you will have to put your candle and your kamiya with the sigil of the spirit, intelligence, or planet that you are choosing to work with. If you wish, you can put an offer of wine, liquor, whatever you feel like, it can be placed right on the table. If you have it, a wand and a knife, again, this is optional. And here start the first part of the ritual. The first part of the ritual is a blessing for the instrument that we're going to use. So the first part from O oh God, who are the author of all good things, strengthen, I beseech thee, thy poor servant, that he may stand fast without fear through his dealing and work. Enlighten, I beseech thee, O Lord, 
the dark understanding of thy creature, so that his spiritual eye may be open and see and know thy angelic spirit descending here in this crystal. Then you touch the crystal and you bless your scrying instrument, or thou inanimate creature of God, and so on, until for Christ's sake. Amen. At this point, you place your incense between you and the scrying tool. And when you place the incense, you bless your incense again with this formula, I conjure thee, O thou creature of fire, by him who created all things, both in heaven and earth, and in the sea and in every other place, whatever, that forthwith thou cast away every phantom from thee, that no hurt whatsoever shall be done in anything. Bless, O Lord, this creature of fire, and sanctify it, that he may be blessed, and that he may fill with the power of virtue of the odors, so neither the enemy nor any false imagination may enter into them through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. At this point, put on your lament of the Archangel. And then, with the knife, if you have a knife, that would be the best. If not, with the wand. If not, with the finger is fine as well. You trace a circle starting from east and going clockwise around your chair while saying in the name of the blessed trinity i consecrate this piece of ground for our defense so that no evil spirit may have power to break these bounds prescribed here through jesus christ our lord amen at this point your setup should look exactly like what you see in in the figure and now we are uh, ready for um, to initiate the evocation ritual so we start with the first sentence in the name of the blessed and holy trinity i do desire thee thou strong and mighty angel here you put the name of the archangel that you're working with whether if it's michael or sachiel that if it be the divine will of him who is called the Tetragrammaton, etc., the Holy God, the Father, that thou. I'm stopping here, and we'll have two, two different phases here. If we go exactly uh, by word by word, following Tritemius' uh, ritual, so we will continue here, evoking the uh, Archangel of the sphere. So take upon thee some shape as best becometh thy celestial nature and appear to us visibly here in this crystal and answer our demands in as far as we shall not transgress the bounds of the divine mercy and goodness by the requesting unlawful knowledge by the thou will graciously show us what things are most profitable for us to know and do to the glory and honor of his divine majesty who liveth and regineth world without end. Amen. Here you pause and you try to feel whether something has changed in your atmosphere, something is moving or something. You may see something, you may hear something, you may feel something, depending on the person, depending on many, many factors. If you don't feel absolutely anything, you may actually repeat the same evocation if you feel something upon arrival you go on and uh, say oh lord we return thee our earthy and sincere thanks for hearing our prayer and we thank thee for having permitted thy spirit to appear unto us which we by thy mercy will interrogate to our further instruction through christ amen and here you um, should be able to interact with the entity if you still don't feel anything don't worry about it um, you just go on and speak clearly your request make the offer if you wish to do so and next up 
It's absolutely, even if you don't feel anything around and if you feel completely nothing happened, don't skip this part. The last part of the ritual is called License to Depart. And it's after that we have evoked the spirit, we have spoke our request, the License to Depart is to close our ritual. So, the License to Depart goes like, Thou, great and mighty, here you put the archangel name, is as much as you comest in peace and in the name of ever blessing the righteous trinity. So in this name, <clears throat> thou mayest depart and return to us when we call thee in this name to whom every knee doth bow down. Fire thee well, Archangel name here. Peace be between us through our blessed Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are familiar with um, ceremonial magic or if you know how to perform it, <clears throat> at this point you can close with um, a little banishing ritual of the pentagram or uh, simply a Kabbalistic cross. If you are not familiar with the ritual, it's fine. You just <clears throat> close it at the end of the license to depart. The, the structure of the ritual is completed anyway. Now this is, as I mentioned, this is the Trithemius uh, procedure and I'm following exactly word by word what is uh, written in, in, in the book. But before, in the section one, we also discuss about intelligence and, and uh, spirit. So there may be cases that we want to interrogate the intelligence or we may need to ask the spirit for something. So how do we actually get down to the uh, intelligence and spirit work? What we do is, let's we'll do one step back and go to the top of the page again when we do the first evocation in the name of the blessed and holy trinity. I do desire thee, thou strong and mighty angel, put the name of Archangel here, that if it will be the divine will of him who is called the Tetragrammaton, etc., the Holy God, the Father, then thou, at this point, you ask for the intelligence. So you say, send on to me, and here you put the intelligence name, that great intelligence of thine, and thereafter, and thereafter, attend to my behest. Here you vibrate the intelligence name a few times and say, come unto me in the name of, and you speak their kanji name. You pause and repeat if necessary. Again, here, try to feel whether there is some changes or there is something happening around you. If not, you can repeat a few times. Um, and if still nothing happened, go on and if the intelligence is what you want to work with, you speak your request and make an offer if you wish to do so. So if your work finishes with the intelligence at this stage, we go back, we close again with the license to depart. Now, this license to depart is very similar to Tritemius 1. It's just a little bit more general because we are dealing with more than one entity. So we would say, mighty archangel name here and the spirits of thy domain because thou hast diligently answered unto my demands and hast very ready and willing to come at my request i do hereby license thee to depart unto thy proper place without causing any harm or danger to any living creature i charge thee to withdraw peacefully and quietly and may peace ever be continued between you and i amen if we want to go until the spirit, and it is the spirit that we want to work with, when we have evoked the intelligence, we go on from there and we continue and compel the spirit, here you put the spirit name, to manifest in this table of art and thereafter attend my behest. Same, you vibrate the spirit name a few times and continue, come unto me, mighty spirit, in the name of, here you put the intelligence here, come forth within this table of art and thereafter attend my behest. So you see there is a kind of a chain of command in, in this process. When you're finished with the spirit and you have complete your request and again make the offer if you want to, 
you can use the same license to depart mighty here put archangel and the spirits of thy domain use this license to depart to close the ritual the same as before if you know how to do the kabbalistic cross of the lesser vanishing ritual of the pentagram you're welcome to do so if you don't just close it at this at this stage And this completes uh, the second and last part about planetary magic. Um, I know it's a little bit complicated, but this is really the uh, clearest way that we could, that I could present it. And at the very end, um, I would suggest, well, not only suggest, but also some references that we have been using in this presentation. First of all, of course, the art of drawing spirit into crystal which is attributed to Tritemius or Spanheim, which is and translated into Latin by Francis Barrett. And you will find um, this ritual within the book called The Magus of Francis Barrett. Uh, of course, the Occulta Philosophia or the three books of occult philosophy of Agrippa that we use for the Camilla and the planetary square. Um, I also definitely recommend uh, The Seven Spheres, written by Rufus Opus. Um, this is a very streamlined and modernized version of Tritemius, um, easy to use and very good result. If you want something much more uh, traditional and something that really goes down into the details on how to build every single tool for the ritual and goes even much more in detail and follow exactly the grimoire, I suggest you to uh, buy and read Gateways Through Stones and Circles by Frater Rashen Chassan. Definitely a great book for uh, following the very traditional way to do it. And uh, finally, uh, Alchemy Works. Uh, Alchemyworks.com is a wonderful website where you can find all the correspondences between the planets and plants and sands and uh, animals and whatever it is related to uh, the correspondences between the planet uh, above and the below. So this is uh, this is it for this presentation. Thank you very much for um, coming up to this point and um, hope uh, you'll be with us again for the next uh, topic. Thank you and farewell.